We've spoken before on the channel about the stages in fighting games that are just absolutely terrible places to have a fight, whether it's because they're a sinking merchant ship, inside a volcano, or a tomato throwing festival when you just got a new white kung fu outfit. But that isn't the end of it, because fighting game characters love fighting so much they're willing to do it anywhere, even places that are dangerously unsafe, unsettlingly creepy, or don't have a breathable atmosphere. Here are seven more of the worst places to have a fight that really could take place elsewhere. Enjoy! You are so smart! It's the battle of the century! Fight! If you remember the movie Jurassic Park, you'll also remember that a lot of that movie involved the main cast hiding from dinosaurs, running away from dinosaurs, or driving away from dinosaurs as fast as their Jurassic Park branded jeeps could go. Damn it! That's because dinosaurs are literally Godzilla monsters designed to crush, tear, and eat you with their razor sharp claws and chomping tooth filled mouths. Which is why it seems odd to me that the Ultra Street Fighter 4 and Street Fighter Cross Tekken stage Jurassic Era Research Facility exists. <laughs> In this stage, your chosen combatants have their apparently essential fistfight in the Jurassic Era research facility that gives the level its name, where it looks like things have gone both very right and very, very wrong. In the right column, we have the fact that scientists were apparently able to create dinosaurs, because as we can see, there are a couple of T Rexes, a sauropod, and a pterodon, all dinoing around in the background of the stage. In the wrong column, however, we have the fact that all the precautionary containment measures seem to have failed. The fence is broken, the T-Rexes have broken their shackles, and the electricity is off. So why are you guys still having a fight here, and not, say, rolling on out of the park in a motorised hamster ball, listening to a safety message from Jimmy Fallon, like in that one much worse movie? As if this wasn't already dangerous enough, the Street Fighter Cross Tekken version of this stage starts the combatants off fighting on a rickety metal walkway suspended about 20 feet off the ground, which collapses halfway through the fight, dumping you down onto the floor. What, with the huge prehistoric monsters not a big enough challenge? What is wrong with you people? Look, I get it, Darkstalkers, you're Street Fighter for goths, with your vampires and your werewolves and your... this guy and whatever it is he's got going on. We even talked in a previous video about that level you've got that was inside a giant space uterus, which, yeah, gross. With all that said, though, I'm still at a loss to explain the stage Iron Horse, Iron Terror from Darkstalkers 3, which is a massive steam locomotive straight out of David Cronenberg's nightmares, and absolutely not somewhere you'd want to hang around, let alone have a fist fight on. For a start, at the front of the train is a giant living eyeball. This is presumably so the train can see where it's going, but my dude, you're a train, you run on tracks. It's not like you can wander off and explore. Worse than that, though, are the two human mouths with lips and teeth on the steam whistle and on the side of the locomotive, which are just sort of wordlessly pouting and gnashing their teeth. This is the point at which you're going to want to go and talk to the driver and ask if he can stop the train so you can get off, only to discover that the driver is a skeleton who is enjoying a smoke break and absolutely not interested in hearing about how you're not enjoying your time on his haunted nightmare train. <laughs> I was going to suggest going to the buffet car to wait it out, but on second thoughts, that's probably a bad idea on this train. Physics-based brawler Gang Beast's whole deal is that it's difficult to control, which makes the fighter's choice of fight venues all the more puzzling. After all, if I had trouble punching, kicking, and walking in a straight line because I was a weird blobby jelly person, I probably wouldn't be getting into fights at all, let alone ones inside meat processing facilities, on top of speeding trucks, or on a ferris wheel at the pier. Most dangerous of all, though, has to be fighting on top of a zeppelin that is sailing around the skies over a busy metropolitan area. The logistics alone are a mystery. How did the gang beasts get up there? Did they all climb up when the blimp was on the ground and then wait until they reached an agreed upon altitude before they started trying to kick each other off? However it happened, they're up there now, fighting on what is most definitely not a flat surface, or even setting foot on an incline is enough to start you down the slippery slope to plummet into your doom on the city streets below. And you just know those gang beasts are going to splat like a water balloon full of mayonnaise down there. Won't somebody think of the street cleaners? <laughs> Shh, 
Las Vegas is a city known for big, high-stakes fights, and you'll notice that none of them take place in the busy public roads outside the casinos. And yet that is where the Dead or Alive 4 stage known as Gambler's Paradise takes place, on the game's equivalent of the Las Vegas Strip, Heaven and Hell City, in the middle of the road which has absolutely not been closed off to traffic, as you'll discover the first time a car speeds past and almost hits you. That's if you're lucky, sometimes they do hit you. In the car's defence, they can probably be forgiven for not expecting to see a life or death karate fight happening in the middle of a two-lane highway in a city with so many fight venues. Also, they do try to swerve, which is appreciated even if we are cartwheeling unpredictably across both lanes of traffic. To be fair though, if you're after high-stakes gambling, flipping around a two-lane highway in your underwear and hoping you don't get hit by a car is pretty up there. Get on my level, the rest of you Vegas casuals. This battlefield will do. You can't stop me. Ready? Fight! PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale is Sony's answer to Smash Bros, pitting against each other beloved characters from Sony's top first-party games like Nathan Drake from Uncharted, Kratos from God of War, and... Did we say Nathan Drake? Okay, now you're gonna get it. And hey, speaking of Nathan Drake, you can also expect to see scenes from the Uncharted series reimagined as fighting game stages. What you might also expect, if you've played an Uncharted game, is that they're also total death traps. The stage we're talking about, Stowaways, starts off innocently enough in the hold of a cargo plane mid-flight. Sure, there's a lot of heavy cargo crates and vehicles scattered around the place, but it all seems properly secured, and the fact that the plane is in mid-air doesn't make things any more dangerous than it would normally be to have a fistfight with a literal god of war in an enclosed space. Halfway through the fight, however, things take a turn for the considerably more dangerous as the back of the plane opens up and the cargo starts tumbling out. Also, the plane is on fire now. Now the stage has become the top of a truck and a cargo trailer that remained barely tethered to the plane which, we remind you, is on fire and most likely in the process of crashing. But I think you've all got bigger things to be worried about than this fight, people. Like, I don't know, where are you going to land this on-fire plane? Oh wait, there's the floating city of Columbia. Alright, problem solved, I guess. We've already covered a few of the deeply odd and very dangerous places Ryu from Street Fighter can find himself fighting, from the space elevator to on the wings of an airplane flying over Dubai. But I would happily take either of those deadly dangerous locations over where Ryu faces off against Asura in the Asura's Wrath Lost Episodes DLC. Round one, fight. The face-off between these two fighty boys starts off straightforward enough, right up until the point where Asura uppercuts Ryu into space. The fight then continues on the moon, which I should point out doesn't have a breathable atmosphere. Not wanting to have to worry about stupid things like oxygen, however, Ryu transforms into evil Ryu, who I guess breathes hatred or something. Look, I'm not going to go and check the Capcom wiki to find out. Having said that, while fighting on the moon is no doubt dangerous for these two, it's probably a lot safer for the residents of Earth who are now a blessedly safe distance away from this absolutely bananas fight. Just try not to destroy the moon while you're up there, guys, please. I think we need it for tides or something. They're not listening. If love for her family is power, then no one is stronger. You will make it through this fight. Hurry up, let's go! Versus Cassandra, fight! If you've ever been to an art gallery, you'll have noticed that having big sword fights is prohibited on account of how you might damage all the priceless works of art. Unless the sword fight is part of the exhibition. Then it's technically performance art and you're in a kind of grey area. Yeah. 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 
point is that the fights in Soul Calibur 3 taking place on the stage Old Toledo Burning Gallery are already pretty dicey. As you might have deduced from the name, however, there is a secondary concern for the fighters, and that's that the entire thing is in the grip of a huge destructive fire and probably only minutes away from collapsing entirely. You can beat me. I really can't stress just what an unsafe environment this is in which to do anything, much less fight someone with deadly weapons. The walls are ablaze, the floor has collapsed, and I'm pretty sure smoke inhalation is going to get to you before Maxi's nunchucks do. I would say it's time to get out of there, but both exits are blocked off by holes and burning debris, and the window has spikes on it, so looks like you're stuck here, folks. In fact, may as well have a fight to pass the time until the fire gets you. You know, keep yourself busy. You win! You thought you could defeat me? How absurd! Those are even more of the worst places fighting game characters have ever decided to throw down, but if we've missed off another of your favourites, do drop it in the comments below, and be sure to like and subscribe, and turn on notifications for more videos like this from outside Xbox every week. Thanks for watching.